Hello, today I'm gonna give you some short explanation on how to work with more than one Dynamixel X series servo with uh, Arduino and uh, Dynamixel shield from Robotis. Uh, so, as you already know, probably each of the servos, once they come from factory, they have a uh, identifier one. So, if you connect all of them to the server without configuring the ID, uh, you get a conflict. So, uh, first of all, before we start daisy chaining servos. Uh, using the TTL or RS485 uh, cable you need to update the ID for each of them uh, so they have dif different <coughs> identification number uh, that can be recognized by the framework later so um, before you uh, start updating ID first I encourage you to download the uh, Arduino um, update ID tool from Nicolas Lamp GitHub repository. Uh, this guy did some uh, good work regarding recognizing the flow of Dynamixel uh, servos. So I just reuse his library in order to change the ID of my of my servos. So if we switch to the update ID project, just a very simple short sketch with some additional debugging lines, uh, which we can ignore. Uh, the essential thing is, the, is that we need to, once we configure the uh, dynamic cell shield with proper baud rate uh, that we, you can find in user's manual for, for specific servo, uh, you have to turn off the torque uh, with the use of old ID, which is in most cases one, uh, which is the factor ID, and then just call set ID method with the old ID and the new ID. Uh, this is the short confirmation with the embedded LED that you you were you were successfully changed the ID, and that's it. So upload this sketch, uh, connect the just one. Of the uh, of the servers to the dynamic cell shield, execute update, and then you will have the new ID assigned to it. Uh, it will be stored in internal EPRO memory. Uh, so as you can see, I uh, updated one of the ID to six uh, uh, a while ago. Also updated another ID to three. Uh, so they are not the same. And now uh, we can switch to the Mm. to the test sketch where I am trying to change the position for both of the uh, of the mm, of the servos in a daisy chain so uh, as you can see I am using set goal position twice for the DXL3 and DXL6 uh, and this is invoking a loop um, alright so let's check how that works uh, first of all let's power up the shield uh, as usual turn on the shield change its mode to dynamixel and now we are ready to go so for that purpose I will first restart the board and look at this so we have two servers operating one is of ID 3 one is of ID 6 uh, the library using for the update of those ID I will put in a comment or in the description under the movie. Uh, thank you for now and stay in touch. Bye.